Today I will show you how to create a tornado in Photoshop. So, let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today I will show you how to use a custom cloud brush to create really nice tornado in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's the fun begin. Alright guys, today we will start with this image and first thing that I like to do is to create a new layer and to create some tornado shape with just a regular brush. So let's create a new layer and let's use a brush here and I will choose some maybe red color, why not? I will just draw some shape of my tornado, something like this. Alright, not bad. We can always tweak it later, maybe a little bit wider here and something like, like so is good. All right, this is the first step. You can create any kind of tornado shape that you like. This is my shape. And now next step is to create again a new empty layer and I will create a color palette for this tornado on this empty layer. You will see in a moment. While I'm still on a brush tool, I will press and hold Alt or Option key and just sample some color from our background. So first I will start with the brightest sky color. This is the color and I will just put some brush stroke here right then I will go with a little bit darker okay then even darker and then even darker than that and maybe this really dark color all right and now I will go down to the ground I will choose some brightest of the dirt here then a little bit darker then maybe let's use this grass color and this one why not and that's it maybe this but I will not need it actually but let's have it just in case all right now that we have our color palette now it's time to create a new layer that we will make tornado on it so I will create a new layer I will name it tornado all right and I will now use a custom cloud brush if you're not familiar how to create a custom cloud brush, you have my really, really nice tutorial about that. Actually, it's called how to create a smoke in Photoshop and you can find it right here. Please watch that tutorial because there I explain in depth how to create that custom cloud brush from any cloud shape that you like, right? And I have that brush from this tutorial right here. And this is the, this is the brush that I'm talking about. So we can create Let's use some darker color. We can use this brush to create the tornado, all right? That's one way, but I have a lot of different custom cloud brush and I will use one of them for, for this tutorial. I will not show you how to create it because you really have everything in depth in my tutorial about the smoke. So please watch that. This is my brush from one of the clouds, as you can see. And I will just choose that brush, make it smaller and just paint even smaller right and I will just paint this basic tornado shape okay just fill this and this is the first step okay a little bit more and this is not bad now that I fill this shape I will just remove my helper layer and now I have a basic tornado shape which is really nice for now. The next step is to basically dodge and burn this tornado to give it some 3D shape by painting with different colors from that color palette that we made at the beginning. So now I will press Alt or Option key and just sample some color from this color palette. So right, I will sample this color and basically I will sample this darker color and now I'll just paint here. But what I like to do is to lower the opacity or the flow. In this case, I will use the flow of 10% and just paint here the darker color, okay? And this is just back and forth painting with different colors. This left side of tornado will be darker and the right side here will be little bit brighter like so and I'm always changing the brush size here down below it will be a smaller brush and here will be a little bit bigger so let's add even brighter color here 
and this really really bright color I like to add it add here and down below this is really nice so this is the basics we can always add and uh, go and uh, sample the darker color if uh, it's too much bright colors and we can just paint with that and this is basically guys just painting and practice you need to practice a lot to make this kind of effect it's basically dodging and burning and now when I'm almost finished with that let's add a little bit brighter color here I really like the shape of this tornado okay now I can go and create a new layer and just use those the second color palette to add some dust with the same brush of course if you have a little bit more of those uh, custom cloud brushes you can change them and have a little bit better effect if i choose another custom cloud brush i will have a different uh, shape of that tornado because the brush is a different shape so try experiment with that this tutorial is not me making a perfect tornado but it's me explaining you the technique how to create really nice tornado in photoshop all right i will just choose those brushes and just paint the dust here which is really nice like this right maybe use this green color here why not and maybe this darker and this is really nice and just matter of taste and time spending in painting this this effect right now that i'm done with this i can go back to the tornado shape and dodge and burn it a little bit so to do that let's go back to the tornado let's name this dust okay and go back to the tornado i will just use curves to dodge and burn it if you're not familiar with dodging and burning please watch my tutorial about this right here and you will have more knowledge about that all right i will use curves and i will clip this curve that it will be for dodging right invert the mask with control, control command i then i will duplicate this curve clip it and just make it darker for dodging so this will be dodging sorry for burning and this will be b for burning all right i will use the same brush because i want uh, dodging and burning to be not like a circular shape uh, of uh, brush because i want this really crazy cloud imperfection in that dodging and burning so i will use uh, this brush and i will use a white color and just make this part a little bit whiter maybe to lower the opacity and just paint create this oval tornado shape and then i will go to the burn and go like this and i can do something like this i can create those really nice darker lines here you will see this is one this is second this is third you will see in a moment when i'm done with this maybe it's not so much visible but trust me they are here right just add those dark lines like so and we can now go to the dodge and add a brighter line just above that right like so as you can see this tornado start starts to get a shape really nice shape right this is really really nice and of course this is optional you can do that you don't need to do that you can create any kind of tornado shape because there are different types of tornadoes there are smooth tornadoes there are some something like this and so on and so on and let me see this is really nice before and after dodging and burning before and after we can dodge it a little bit more here maybe and so on and so on i will not spend too much time tweaking this because i don't want you to watch me so long uh, doing this but this is the point this is the technique so you can do by yourself the same thing and you will get really really nice effect okay this is really nice looking tornado i don't need this palette anymore but before i turn off the palette i will show you one more trick that you can do with this tornado you can add some debris uh, on the bottom part of the tornado in the dust so if you're not familiar how to add debris to your photos i have a great tutorial about that right here please check it out so to create a debris on this photo you need to have a custom debris brush that i explain you how to create it in that 
uh, tutorial of mine. All right, I will use one of my Debris brushes here. I will use maybe this one, let me see, this is good. And I will create a new layer and I will use maybe this darker brown color, right? And I will just paint with 100% opacity and 100% flow. I will just paint some debris here. It's too much, they're too big. Maybe like this, and like this. Then I will create a new layer, use a lighter color and just even smaller debris, just paint like this. You can go and even use a lighter one, but they are too bright, maybe like this. And you can add really nice effect of those debris. You can go now and blur this with the blur and motion blur, why not? Left and right, something like this, or up and down, let me see. If, you, if you're not satisfied with the direction of this blur, because I'm not, you can go and maybe use smudge tool and just smudge it a little bit. The smudge tool, it's a little bit processor heavy, so you need to have patience with that. But this is one way how you can do it. Or you can go to a blur, blur gallery and just go with some, uh, I forgot the name, directional blur or something like that, blur gallery and pad blur. Yeah, you can go with the pad blur. So I will finish with this and then I will show you the final result. Just a second, one more stroke and we are done. All right, I will not spend more time tweaking this. Let's hide the color palette and you can see this is really nice looking tornado. We can go and group all of this into one group, call it tornado. And now we can move this tornado and animate the moving of this tornado really, really nice before and after, before and after. One more trick that you can do with this tornado is to go to tornado layer and go to filter, blur and motion blur and just blur the tornado. Use any kind of di di direction you find to work best for you. Maybe like this, you want a very fast tornado or maybe this up and down, it's not bad like so, and I will press OK. And I really like the result. This is before, this is after, this is a little bit more smoother tornado. And I like how this is look, All right? Uh, we can now merge everything together with Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option E in a Mac and just color correct it with a filter and go to camera roll. This is just an optional step for your images. I would like to maybe add some haze. Then I will go and add some bluish tint so the background, maybe a little bit of yellowish tint uh, to the highlights. Then I will go here, add some blacks, clarity, and I will boost some whites here, why not? And that's basically it, maybe to sharpen it a little bit, global sharpening. And let me see before and after, not bad, maybe a little bit more of the blue. And that's it, right? And this is just optional step before and after, before and after. All right, guys, let me show you. I have a few other images that I just created before this one, but I really like how this tornado is looking and you can create any kind of tornado shape for your images. All right, guys, that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. This is really easy and fast way how to create a custom shaped tornado in Photoshop only thing that you need, it's a practice. So practice, experiment, have fun, and you will master this technique. If you have any questions at all regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. If you want to support me and this channel, please visit my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. All right, guys, see you in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.